As we go to air tonight, destructive storms are sweeping through parts of the southeast, cutting power to thousands of people. Our suffocating heat wave making way for a summer supercell, bringing hail and powerful winds. The heat wave finally cracking. Storms breaking ranks. Splintering free. Arrowing across the north of Brisbane. At Sandstone Point, winds ripped through, tearing down shipping containers. At Bribie Island, a man braving the hail for a tiny rescue, a bird unable to fly in the pounding rain. In Woodford... There was nothing and then all of a sudden it was there. Power lines brought down, Vicky lost her fence. storm just hit um, really quickly. It was thunder, lightning... Heavy rain, horizontal rain. And when it was all over, we came out and found this. Diagula copping hail too. <laughs> While Caboolture wasn't spared either, in the path of an afternoon assault. And it couldn't come soon enough. After yesterday's peaks, it stayed hot after sundown. Temperatures from Brisbane to Ipswich didn't dip below 25 all night. Five degrees above the December average. Probably the warmest it's been since... January this year. The humidity is the reason we've seen those really warm overnight temperatures and we're going to see that, that humid air stick around until tomorrow. Temperatures easing back today ever so slightly with low 30s across the southeast. Outside it's really hot. Not a bad time to sell air conditioners. It's hard to keep up with them. Um, stocks pretty much gone. Tonight, 22,500 homes are without power. Most of those are here in Moreton Bay as well as up on the Sunshine Coast. Crews are right now working to try and get the power back on, but they've had to wait for the lightning activity to stop, and there has been plenty of it. In the past couple of hours, there's been more than 160,000 lightning strikes across the southeast. These storms certainly did pack a punch as well, Melissa. The insurance companies say dozens of damage claims are now coming through. Rob, thank you for that. Ebony Cavallaro is tracking those storms tonight. Ebony, which suburbs are in the firing line? Well, Melissa, right now there's a line of storms that are just about to hit the Laidley, Gatton and Esk areas. There are warnings also in place, though, for the Brisbane, Moreton... Uh, Somerset and Ipswich Council areas and these storms are set to stick around throughout the night. This is very much a developing situation. Now these storms did start early this afternoon. If you take a look at the radar, they started coming in from the west and really intensified quite quickly. There was lots of strong winds around. The strongest one was at Dolby, 93 kilometres an hour. But as for rain, the highest falls were recorded around the Sunshine Coast, 41 millimetres near the airport. They're still copping it right now. 23 in Caboolture, 19 in Redcliffe. But for most other parts, it's been barely enough to wet the ground. Now, it does look like there could be some, uh, some rain around later on in the week. Exactly where and when, I'll have all those details a little bit later in your weather forecast. Talk to you then, Ebony. Thank you.